Welcome back to the final part of today's show. We have Matt O'Connor here. He's famed for making ice cream out of breast milk, which he will be showing us in just a moment. Plus, tasting that ice cream. And two others are Home and Away stars Lynn McGranger and Lisa Gormley. Do you have a sweet tooth? Are you ready for this? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Are you ready to try, you try anything? Oh, absolutely. I will. As long as yeah. it's not going to kill us, I think. No, no, this is, it will just make you slightly larger, but it won't kill you. OK, it's so not like Drano ice cream yeah, or anything no, no, like no, that. No, 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 it's beautiful. Oh, beautiful. OK, well, you at home certainly have sweet teeth, judging by these amazing pictures of your sweet treats. Um, this is from Carol in Norwich, who says, My family visited me the day before my grandson's birthday, so I made a cake, and it looks like he liked it. Yum, oh. yum. And from Linda, who says, I made this cake for my friend's daughter-in-law. The fruits wow. are made of marzipan. The cake was a vanilla sponge, and I took up making cakes when I retired. I wish I'd done it before. That's beautiful, right. isn't it? And Imran says, my wife has an extraordinary talent for making beautiful cupcakes. My favourite is the Cookie Monster. If you can publish these pics, I think she would have a heart attack because she doesn't have a clue. <laughs> <laughs> Imran, you haven't given us your wife's name, but she does make blinking good cakes. Yeah. Very good indeed. Now, Matt O'Connor is here. He's going to show us how to make ice cream at home in a moment, but first... When did you get this passion for making ice cream? Well, I've been making ice cream for about 20 years, but um, when I decided to set up the Ice Creamists, I wanted to do something different that nobody had ever done before. So I thought about creating the scream of ice cream that was more uh, Sin and Nancy than it was Ben and & Jerry, and we've set about, <laughs> set about liberating the world one lick at a time for them. That's our job. Oh, is that your motto? That's our mission. I wonder what that is in Latin, one lick at a time. Who knows? It? Could be very rude, though, <laughs> I suppose. Could be very rude. OK, so let's go. We've got yeah. Lynn and Lisa here mm. who are desperate to have a go. These uh, ones here are? Right, let me explain. This is our slightly controversial, slightly risque ice cream. This is called the Baby Gaga. It's actually a breast milk ice cream made okay. with human breast milk. Uh, it was banned originally by Westminster Council, who then said we boobed. It was actually perfectly safe. <laughs> and we now call them Breastminster Council. Uh, and do then, we know the lady who's donated yes, her We milk. do know lady, uh, a very nice lady. We, uh, it's only one lady. We, 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 we <laughs> have to carefully her. screen donors in line okay. with hospital standards to yes. make sure the ice cream is perfectly safe. Do you pasteurise it? Uh, it's pasteurised and produced. Basically, we just reproduce, we take... Uh, or do we, we don't use the cow, or do we cow's milk, we simply we, uh, replicate that with breast milk. So this is all breast, breast milk. milk in here? Breast milk and a little bit of double cream for structure all right. and Madagascan okay. vanilla okay. pods. Okay. Yeah. I'm not natural. absolutely certain about this, Excuse but me. I know natural breast milk's very yeah. sweet. And it's made in a traditional style oh, of an wow. Italian gelato. Actually, it's gorgeous. I'm just yeah, going to have is. a bit But who, who orders that? Do you know Strange what? men in red know, People say that, though. <laughs> people say that, and you know, it's all been women. It's university women, women wanting to donate. We originally had 15 donors. Oh, We've now got over 600 donors. I could open up a milking parlour, not an ice cream parlour, with a number of donors. Right. That's kind of making me feel a bit queasy, though. Indeed. All right. Okay. Number two yeah. is over here, being given an intravenous drip. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, this is Josephine from Hello, Josephine. Uh, from the Ice Creamist, and this is our IV drip. Now, this is called the um, this is called the sex pistol and this is a natural stimulant ice cream ladies hey. so it's like a natural viagra mm -hmm. if you you know it's got enough erectile properties to bring people back from the dead that's how good this ice cream is uh and josephine if you bring these over and then just just bring the ice creams over and then just pour the absinthe on top now normally we set light to the absinthe and, and, and pour on top, but because of the regulations here... Health and safety. Health and safety. We don't studio. want to burn the studio down. Oh. Um, and now Josephine is just going to pour us on top. There's a... There's a slight sort of bondage theme going on here as well. Or what is this? Just kind try, of S&M leather hat Just try, try a little bit of that for what, diving so, in there. So di this is absinthe. This no, is absinthe. I have it, what, is this ordinary vanilla? This is, this is like a syllabubby, lemony, All right. uh, again, no gelato. Milk. No breast milk in that. Go it's a conventional. Mm. I've never had absinthe because I think it's, it's quite, probably going to be like... It's quite a polarising ice I can't cream. I actually have the booze. I'm, I'm doing a charity thing, so I'm... I'm off right. the booze, so I'll watch you. You're not going to... It's 80% absent. Charity, for the children. Oh, well, all right, then. <laughs> Actually, absinthe's nice, isn't it? It's got, it's got like an aniseed it. wormwood in flavour. I'm going to that now. Don't, I'm going to be in the gut hide, of this afternoon. Hide it. <laughs> Take that drip away. Mm. Mm. OK, and yeah. the third Fantastic. one, then. We've got to get on. The third one some... is our Molotov cocktail, yeah. which is um, it's basically a boozy baked banoffee Alaska. Ooh. And it's got dulce de leche, caramel ice cream, oh. a little bit of creme de banane, and it's Ranch got meringue on top. On and there's a bit of rum. Oh, OK. 80% proof rum on there as well. Oh, I can't eat that either. Why didn't you spray me? <laughs> 
Mm, yum. So that's right. Oh. right. That is very actually the accent's <laughs> delicious. Right. And now. Okay, now how, how do we do some sensible ones at home? Right. Partial. Don't have Let too much of that, now. <laughs> Basically, what we do here mm, hot. is we have uh, 250 ml of whole milk. Never use slimming low-fat milk because it just won't work. Uh, the, no, don't use. You've got to use high-fat ingredients for proper ice cream. Just eat less. You know, you don't eat more. Just eat less. <laughs> yes, you've noticed. You've noticed. Oh. But that, that is called fern. That is called commitment, darling. Yeah, I that love is it. commitment. I That's love commitment. It. Yeah, go on. Right. Then. So, 250 ml whole milk, 125 ml double cream. <gasps> we put some oh shit, some egg yolks. Yep. In here. Two or three? Two egg yolks in yeah. there. Yeah. If you have your ice cream maker at home, you just bung it all in the machine. Well, no, you've got to prep it first, like this. Then you put the 88 grams of caster sugar in here. Yeah. Then if I can ask you just to gently whisk. Gently whisk. That's all right. Give a good... Bring it together. Uh, that's, a, that's a great action. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, while this is on, I'm just going to put... Now, I'm going to put, like, a chocolate spread, like a nutty chocolatey hazelnut spread in here. Yeah. I know, one that you can have on your breakfast toast. One that, that you thing. can have, I won't say what it is, but yep. this is a really quick, simple ice cream. I made at home last night, actually. With, no, how was it at home oh. tap? I made this at home with my kids last night. It's absolutely fab. Okay. Kids love it. I was going to whisk this quickly, so you just put the chocolate spread into the warm milk. Yeah. Oh, and then and, you put and hot then, cold. Yeah, and you'd be very careful not to put it all in one go on there because it will scramble the eggs. Yeah. So I just need to get that in there a bit. Like so. I should get as much as. Right, okay. And I'm just going to gently pull that into the. Just lift the whisk whip, whip. out. That's fine. And just gently whip it as I pour it in. That's it. So I'm not scrambled. Oh, it's going a bit scrambled. I'll keep going. Keep going, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. This you're an absolute natural, fur. <laughs> a natural ice cream is. <laughs> if you need another job, oh. you know where to come. Brilliant. Fantastic. Job done. Yep. Um, and then if I just move that to one side, right. then we're just going to do. Stephen, have you got the liquid nitrogen? <laughs> Was that? <laughs> we're just going to use it. We don't have liquid nitrogen at home, so please don't try this. this no, is, uh... I'm doing this to shortcut. What you All normally right. use yes. is kind of say so you put that in a sink of cold water yes. for 20 minutes. Yes. Cool it down. Yes. Put it in a fridge and either overnight. Yes. Or put it in the freezer as I do quickly for about an hour. Then you pour it into one of these ice cream machines, oh, yeah. or you could actually just leave it in a plastic container in the freezer for an hour, whisk it again after an hour, put it again for another hour. Super. Very simple, but we're just going to use a little bit of liquid nitrogen. Okay. And then? And then just basically oh, we're going to pour it in here and there. hopefully... Oh, try it. Oh, look. There we go. That's fun though, isn't it? This is our spinal tap moment, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> You're actually Heston Blumenthal, aren't you? No, we're going to make Heston Blumenthal look like Ronald McDonald, hopefully, <laughs> by the time we finish. There Ooh, we go. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And hey, presto, it's done. It's getting there. Right, we've got, to, we've got to get this into our gobs quickly, or else we're going to fall off the air and bump into everyone else. Right. <laughs> right, ladies, come, come, come. Ooh. You're enjoying <laughs> that one, Lisa. <laughs> right. No, I'll leave it. Okay, right. that's it. We've got to taste. Okay. Okay. We okay. need spoons. Get the spoons. Okay. Spoons. Oh. So spoons. And here we go. They show us them. It's coming. It's coming around the edges. Okay. Look. Okay. This is a bit runny, but the taste will still be there. Okay. Ready? Okay. One. Go on. Just, just have a little taste. Have that bit on the edge there. Yeah. A little bit crystallised. Oh. Oh my. That is delicious. Wonderful. Really simple to make at home. Fantastic. You Thank, Thank you, you everybody. Oh, You've been wonderful you. today. Yeah. Next week, we've got Robson Green, Stephen Mulhern, Jeff Brazier, neighbours Susan Kennedy, and I hope you have a fantastic weekend, and I look forward to seeing you on Monday. From all of us, bye! bye. <laughs>